Jar will come. And then Isa alayhi salam will come. And then after Isa alayhi salam has killed the Jar, has killed the Jar, then Hatta ila Futihat, Ya'juj wa Ma'juj. Then Ya'juj, Ma'juj will be let loose by Allah. They will be open to Rome and so they will appear from all corners. Then there will be another sign from Allah. And that will be the dark but the earth, the beast. We are all sinful and bad, but as long as we are loyal to Allah and His Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there is hope Allah will forgive us. Allah with His Qadr and mercy, ascend down Islam and guidance with His beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله. الله سند الكتاب الكريم محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم with the true deen and with guidance so that Islam can prevail over all other religions. Just as when the sun rises, sun is a source of light, and when sun rises, darkness disappears. And not just upon the rising of the sun. But long before the sun is going to rise, at Subh Sadiq, the darkness begins to slowly diminish. Until when the sun rises, mashallah, totally the world is filled with light. This is the sun is source of light. Hidayat is also light. Allah says, Allah will lead Allah is the friend of the believers and he leads them from darkness into light. Kufr, dalal, fist disobedience, uh, all falsehood is darkness. Islam and Haq is light. Allah Himself is light. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. And when anyone believes in Allah sincerely and properly, Allah fills his heart with noor. And just as in light we can distinguish between right and wrong and good and bad, between our friends and our enemies, uh, between a stick and between a snake. If a person is darkness, he can't distinguish. He doesn't know who's sitting next to him. There might be something sort of straight on the floor. He might think it's a stick. It might be a snake. And a person doesn't know what's right and wrong. Uh, similarly, without I Iman and the Noor of Iman, a man can never know what's truly good for him. Many a times a man can be confused. Many a times a person can be mistaken and he can be fooled into thinking something bad is good for him. And he likes something, he wants something desperately. But in reality, it's not good for you. Many a times a person despises, dislikes, or hates something, which in reality is good for him. A person despises something which is good for him, and he likes something which is not good for him. Allah knows, and you people don't know. Uh, we humans, we don't know. We need that light, that guidance from Allah. And that guidance is Noor. Allah is Noor. Allah sent Noor from the heavens and to guide us. And when that Noor appears in the heart of a person, then things become plain and clear. Then such person is for huwa ala Noorim mi Rabbi. And then this person is on that guidance from his Lord. And he can't be then he can't be deceived and he won't be cheated by Shaitan. Otherwise uh, shaitan becomes master of the people and people regard fulfillment of their desires as their aim and they make their desires and their nafs their gods. Allah says repeatedly in the Quran, uh, did you not see the outcome and the result of the people who made their desires their gods? In other words, just as we are supposed to look up to Allah and believe in Allah and worship Allah and obey Allah, uh, similarly, the people, then all they do is they just want to obey their nafs. Whatever the nafs says, so they do. And such people as though they have made their nafs their God. 
And then sometimes shaitan corrupts people so much that people become agents of shaitan in such a manner that they try and corrupt being. They try, they try and find weaknesses and faults in Islam, in the message and deen which Allah himself has perfected. Allah is haq. Allah's deen is haq. Allah's word is haq. Ya ayyuhal nas, inna wa'ad Allah haq. But shaitan makes people think. Now these are just fibs. And they are just proverbs. And there is no reality to these things. And shaitan makes people give different interpretations. And even so-called Muslims, uh, they, they fall into the trap of shaitan. That what is plain and clear, the Prophet wasallam has spoken about and prophesied the coming of. And then people think, well, it, the Prophet didn't really mean that way. Uh, that doesn't really mean that there is a physical Jannah. It doesn't mean there is literally Isa bin Maryam is going to come as the Prophet said he will come. And the Prophet ﷺ prophesied with qasam. وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ I swear by Allah who holds my life in his hands. لَيُوشِكَنَّ إِنْ يَنْزِلَ فِيكُمْ إِبْنِ مَرْيَمَ حَكَمًا عَدَلًا I swear by him who holds my life in his hands very surely, definitely. Ayushiku means soon. Layushikanna, those who know Arabic grammar, it's a double stress, extreme stress. Definitely, surely, with beyond any doubt. Layushikanna an yanzila fiikum. And they will descend upon you or amongst you. Ibn Maryam. Ibn Maryam means who? Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. There is only one person in the history of humanity who has been referred to as Ibn Maryam by Allah and his beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Rasulullah and that is Isa Ibn Maryam and he will come and yanzila fikum Ibn Maryam hakaman adala as a ruler to decide your cases to guide you to the right path from Allah in those difficult times as a just ruler to establish justice he will break the crosses. He will kill the pigs. He will abolish jizya and he will abolish warfare. And he will and, and wealth will become so abundant, he will distribute wealth so much so that nobody will want it anymore. There will come a time upon this ummah, upon the return of Isa alayhi salatu wassalam, when wealth will become so abundant, nobody will want it. And one sajda will become so important and so valuable that it will become more valuable than the entire wealth of the world. And for 13 centuries of Islam, in the entire entirety, the whole Ummah has accepted and has been waiting for and has known that before Qiyamah, who will come back? Isa ibn Maryam. Isa ibn Maryam, the one who was taken alive to the heavens by Allah with his qudrat. Allah raised him to himself. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا And in this raising up there was immense wisdom of Allah. There was so much, so much wisdom and Allah had the authority and the power that Allah can do it. But before the coming of Isa alayhi salatu wassalam, there will be another personality who will come. One will be Dajjal and one will be the Mahdi. The Mahdi will come and after him, the Jal will come. And then Isa alayhi salam will come. And then after Isa alayhi salam has killed the Jal, has killed the Jal, then Hatta Ida Putihat Ya Juju wa Majuj. Then Ya Juj Majuj will be let loose by Allah. They will be open to Rome and from they will appear from all corners. Wahum min kulli hadabin yan Ya Juj Majuj will appear. 
then there will be another sign from Allah. And that will be the Darbatul Ard, a beast. A beast, some Mufassirin have given different explanations or his descriptions. The body of an animal and the head of a human and others interpretations have also been given but Mount Safa will split and from there a beast will appear and it will talk to people <laughs> 